Hi, I'm Scotty. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. Today we're going to replace the pin on a wheel in a vintage German DRGM chiming clock. I've selected a piece of pivot steel, approximately the same size as a piece of steel pin that fell out of the wheel. I'm reducing the size of the pin by rubbing it on a piece of 600 grit paper backwards and forwards the full length of the stick. I test to see how close we're getting to the correct size for the pin. We still have a fair way to go, so to speed up the process, I will put the piece of pivot steel into a pin vise and chuck it up into our lathe. Using low pressure, we move the 600 grit stick up and down, backwards and forwards, across the pin. I'll speed the lathe up from 500 revs to 750 revs. Test the pin on the wheel again to see if it's getting closer. Still needs a little bit more, so back to the 600 grit stick. Remove the pin vise from the lathe and check the, once we've picked it up, check the fit on the wheel once again, see how close we're getting. Back to the bench, check the wheel again and it fits. Put the pin vise with the pin in it into a bench vise and using a medium strength file square off the end of our new pin. Finish off with a fine file and file each side of the pin to remove any burrs. Remove the pin vise, it's standard vertically in the bench vise, and using the fine file, run round each side of the pin just to confirm that we've removed all the burrs and our job is complete. Finish off with some 600 grit paper on a sanding stick. Final check with your fingers to make sure all the burrs are gone. Now getting ready to solder the pin in. First cut a small piece of solder and put it aside and then put some flux on the pin. Now turning on my piezo burner. As you can hear in the background, collecting the piece of solder. Heat the wheel and the pin equally. And as the temperature rises, be ready to drop the solder onto the pin. There we go. You can see it flowing in. Back to the bench. We now clean up our work with a fine file and remove the excess solder. A 
final buffing with 600 grit paper stick and our job is finished.